Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lonnie Price Grant was taken aback when she discovered a very alive and drugged Abe. Lani gets a big lead on her purportedly dead father in the Days of Our Lives recap. Highlights from Days of Our Lives Furthermore, Whitley metaphorically puts Jerry under the bus, and Brady rips up his peace gesture to Kristen. Let's delve a little more into what transpired. Spy with your eyes Despite his better judgment, Jerry let Lani into his home, which resulted in her noticing his suitcase. Is he on his way somewhere? Yes. I'm returning to California to give acting another shot. To be honest, Jerry might want to think about pursuing another career. Jerry dropped all pretense and yelled that his entire tale had been a lie as soon as Lonnie began giving him the hard sell about why it's so vital to her to get to the bottom of her father's death. Lonnie was perplexed when he said his entire narrative was a lie. Jerry then proceeded to puke the truth on Lonnie. He could have been at the docks that day, but Aid was not. And, while Abe's blood and the scene were discovered along with his hospital ID bracelet, Jerry planted them. Lani had a gut feeling that Abe had died at Jerry's hands, but Jerry admitted that it was all Nurse Whitley King's fault. He was nothing more than a pawn. I apologize profusely. A sedated Abe, on the other hand, found himself staring at a version of himself inside the body and soul realm. Like Abe, Henry Marshall the world's most powerful ice cream magnate, was out of sorts and had recently been released from the hospital. Henry Marshall, like Abe, was being groomed to run for mayor of the town. Henry Marshall, like Abe, found Sandra Clarkington, Jackie Harry, a little too familiar. The real world began to infiltrate the real world at an alarming rate. Abe slash Henry was struck by a sense of deja vu, and then the pounding sounds from someplace in TV land manifested themselves in Lenny, barging through Whitley's front door and colliding with Abe. There are some rough patches. Whitley informed a puzzled Steve, Stephen Nichols, at University Hospital that she was definitely leaving for greener pastures. So, old pastures, Scottsdale, Arizona, to be precise, is her hometown. Steve believed it would be wonderful for her, especially with so many family members nearby, such as her four brothers. But hold on, Steve, how did you find out about her family? Of course, it's from the FBI's background check. Whitley finally admitted that it wasn't her, but Jerry, who was the last person to see Abe on the day he went missing from the hospital, after more prodding from Steve. Or, at the very least, most likely. After all, Jerry was in Abe's room, and she saw him not. With that new information in hand, Steve obtained Jerry's address and proceeded to the location, obstructing the young man's attempted escape. Meanwhile, Whitley lingered at the nurse's station, muttering to herself about the importance of her acts. Vision via a tunnel. Brady and Bell, Martha Madison, caught up elsewhere, on a single bench in Horton Town Square. He told her about his assumption that Kristen had kidnapped Rachel, and she told him about Sean's suspension from the force and his struggle with demon booze. Kristen hinted to Marlena at the Demira estate that if Brady revisited Rachel's custody agreement, the small girl would be miraculously returned to him. Marlena delivered the word to Brady and pushed for Rachel, and what was best for her, rather than Kristen. Bell drew out a new agreement in no time and gave it to Brady, who printed it off. He was soon in front of Kristen, handing her the award. Brady tore the document to tears and flung the fragments over the room as Kristen happily appended her Jane Hancock to it and handed it back over. No more. Games. Lanny has been drugged, John has broken in, and Belle has a connection. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, July 17, Lanny Price Grant will be drugged. Brady Black rips the custody agreement to shreds. Jerry Prentice's apartment is broken into by John Black and Steve Patch Johnson. In addition, Bell Brady develops a friendship with Jada Hunter. Lonnie Price Grant has been drugged. According to DOO spoilers for Monday, July 17, 
Lonnie will attempt to save aide Carver, James Reynolds. Lonnie appears to have some breathing room as Whitley King submits her resignation to Kayla Johnson. But there isn't enough time. Whitley intervenes before Lonnie and Abe can be saved. As a result, Abe and Lonnie are both held hostage and drugged. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, July 17, Lonnie Price Grant will be drugged. Brady Black rips the custody agreement to shreds. Jerry Prentice's apartment is broken into by John Black and Steve Patch Johnson. In addition, Belle Brady develops a friendship with Jada Hunter. Lonnie Price Grant has been drugged. According to DOL teasers, Lonnie will attempt to save Abe Carver. Lonnie appears to have some breathing room as Whitley King submits her resignation to Kayla Johnson. But there isn't enough time. Whitley intervenes before Lonnie and Abe can be saved. As a result, Abe and Liney are both held hostage and drugged. Paulina Price is concerned. However, assistance may be on the way. Ray Fernandez and Paulina Price are said to be concerned when Liney goes missing. Liney must return to prison by a specific date and hour. Therefore, the clock is ticking. Break in by John Black. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, John and Steve are investigating what happened to Abe. It has been hinted that John and Steve will break into Jerry's flat in Monday's episode. Now Jerry is a reluctant collaborator rather than the true evil. As a result, Jerry may not have any proof in his residence. However, there could be a clue that leads to Whitley. Whitley is questioned by Steve about leaving the hospital. As a result, the dots may begin to join, resulting to a double rescue. The 17th of July is a Monday. Brady is expected to rip up the custody arrangement on Monday, July 17. Brady and Kristen Dimera, Stacy Hyduck, are feuding over Rachel Black, Finley Rose Slater, according to So Opera Digest magazine. Kristen, of course, is a professional crook, master manipulator, unpredictable risk, and psychologically unstable. Kristen, on the other hand, would never purposefully harm her own daughter. The issue is that Kristen might endanger Rachel without even realizing it. While hunting for Rachel, Belle and Jada are expected to bond. As a result, some unexpected plot arcs may emerge. Which plotline are you most excited to watch on Monday, July 17? What do you think will happen to Brady, Kristen, Rachel, Whitley, Paulina, Rafe, Jerry, and Abe? What is in store for John, Steve, Jada, Belle? and the other Salamites in the future. Please leave your comments in the section below. Keep watching the Peacock drama to find out what happens next. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.